Ontario Liberals are saying tonight their party is at the start of a grassroots resurgence, and they're hoping it leads to a Liberal government at Queen's Park in the not too distant future. The party wrapped up a weekend meeting here in Hamilton today, and Al Sweeney has covered it all weekend and has the details. The Liberal Party's annual general meeting ended with the vote for a new party president. Congratulations, Catherine McGarry. McGarry is a nurse, a former MPP, and former mayor of Cambridge. As Ontario Liberal president, she'll lead the team that manages the race for a new party leader to challenge Doug Ford and the NDP's Marit Stiles. This is day one. McGarry's victory followed a major decision for the Liberals, leading to an outpouring of cheers to modernize their leadership election process and adopt a one-member, one-vote system, hoping to give party members a direct role in choosing a new leader. After the party was defeated in the last two elections and left with only eight seats in the legislature, the Liberals are also hoping the new voting system will get party members engaged. And I could feel excitement and some hunger around the province. This is the start of the resurgence. This is a start when you can really motivate even one or two members or a team of people in every riding to move forward. This is a, a monumental shift that we have made. It's bringing our party closer to the grassroots uh, where each member of our party will have an opportunity to select the next leader. It is truly exciting and it has revitalized our grassroots. It has modernized our party. Would-be leadership candidates are now waiting for the party to set the date for the leadership vote with the focus on the next provincial election expected in 2026. Al Sweeney, CHCH News.